Hi, I'm John. I hope you're having a great day. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, trusting your operating system. And there's some things that have come up in the news in the last couple of days that kind of have me thinking about it. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, and I think it's just because I've had to think about a lot of things. And in thinking about um, going through different distributions in Linux, I've come to a certain conclusion that maybe going through every distribution one at a time may not be the thing for me. Uh, I'm finding that some of the distributions uh, really don't function the way they should. And uh, the ones that I, that I like the best, uh, there's two of them, and I'll talk about that in just a bit, uh, seem to be the most trustworthy to me. And uh, one of the things that I did uh, is I got one of these external... Um, SSD drives, uh, just a little thing, and I took off all my pertinent data um, as far as my business and things like that and put it all on here so I can just transfer it from one computer to another or one operating system to another so I don't have to stay with one thing and transfer a bunch of files and things like that. There's a lot of data on that. Uh, all encrypted, that type of thing, but it, there is a lot of data. But to be able to share that between different versions of Linux as I'm going through distributions um, uh, made a lot of sense to me. But one of the things um, I was thinking about as I started trying a whole bunch of different ones and trying to get an idea, should I talk about these different distributions? Uh, um, and I, I just found things that you know, just didn't work right. And I think hardware is an issue. Uh, nothing ever seems to work perfectly when you go from one uh, Linux OS to another. They're, they're not perfect. Uh, there's no such thing as a perfect operating system. You're not going to find something that works with every bit of hardware you have or um, every bit of software that you're trying to use on it. Uh, and I, you know, I think... At the beginning, I kind of had starry eyes about it. I went, okay, this is the ultimate solution. This is going to take care of all my computing needs, and it's a, a panacea for everything. Well, it's not. I mean, for me, Linux is. And I would never go back to Microsoft Windows. Uh, but this is uh, kind of what I'm running into. There's just little things that can't be dealt with properly or... Um, will not function right uh, with certain hardware uh, back and forth with certain distributions. And there's nothing I can do about it. I wish there was, but there just isn't. So I got back to the point where, um, let me just uh, get to this other screen, and I'll show you this. I mean, I'm using two different operating systems for Linux. I use Linux Mint. It is, in my opinion, the most trustworthy uh, operating system that's out there. I mean, it seems to day in and day out run most everything that I need to run without uh, having to do a whole bunch of other stuff. It just works. And that seems to be the thing. I also have this, I believe, with Kubuntu, uh, which is the other operating system I run. And it has the KDE Plasma desktop that I like so much. And so uh, I like that a lot better than I like Cinnamon as far as the desktop goes. But Kubuntu also, to me, seems to function with everything that I need, has a good software center, just like Linux Mint does. Uh, really positive experience on both these. So what I decided to do <laughs> was just get the external uh, SSD drive and then... Uh, put all my pertinent information on there so I wouldn't have to uh, be ping-ponging information, that type of thing, and maybe screw up what versions are the right ones and wrong ones. I have a lot of data that I have to keep, and uh, that seems to work the best. So for me, the best solution is to have two different operating systems. Working with both of them uh, seems to be uh, the best thing for me. Uh, Sorry about that buzz in the background. Um, so 
this is my solution. There's times when certain things work best in Linux Mint, and I will go to that and uh, use that for a while. And then I will go to Kubuntu uh, when I want to do other things. It seems to be the best uh, solution for me is to have two different versions of Linux that, uh, that function and take care of everything I need to do. So I'm happy about that. Uh, the item that was in the news this week or last week was uh, Microsoft's uh, recall. And if you're one of these people that is uh, unsure of making the switch from Windows to Linux, uh, boy, if this doesn't do it for you, I don't know what does. Um, and I'm not talking to people who aren't... Uh, savvy enough to, to th even think about it. There's some people that just think, oh, I have to use Windows. Oh, I have to use Mac. You don't. But, you know, if you have uh, come to the conclusion that you don't have to use these, then indeed you can do something different. So they were having this thing called uh, recall. Uh, let's read what Business Insider said. Uh, the recall feature, which Microsoft has likened to giving uh, PCs a photographic memory, can take screenshots of a user's laptop or desktop every few seconds. The snapshots are encrypted, and Microsoft says users can choose which snapshots recall collects. The feature can also be turned off. Uh, some people in the UK, obviously some watchdog groups, are questioning this because they're better with privacy than than we are here in the United States. <clears throat> uh, they told the BBC that the recall feature is an optional experience and that Microsoft is committed to privacy and security. Well, that's baloney. Um, it says recall data is only stored locally and not accessed by Microsoft or anyone who does not have device access. Well, this could be compromised in any number of ways. So you don't really know... Uh, what it is, and uh, I would be very suspect of this because we've had uh, situations here in the United States where uh, government agencies have wanted to uh, request information about people, and they request that from these big tech companies. And uh, by law or something, they have to comply. This is why I quit using Windows, uh, just one of the reasons why, not to mention all the problems that it would have. Um, so, you know, one of the things that I don't have a problem with is the operating system just functioning the way it's supposed to, whether it is Linux Mint or Kubuntu for my everyday needs. Uh, you know, you're really not going to have any problems. I, at least I don't. And I knew I had a lot of problems with Microsoft. I knew I had a lot of problems. And now, they're becoming more intrusive than ever. So why not give uh, Linux a shot? And you're going to find that it, it functions much better and you can trust it. You know, I don't, I don't think about things like, I, you know, I do backups like everybody else does on important data, but I don't worry about it like I used to with Microsoft Windows. Uh, I used to believe that I had to back up something every day, every day, and uh, constant backups, uh, virus protection, all sorts of other things that I don't worry about anymore. And I know that I generally go like about a week uh, or so, and then I back up data again, um, sometimes two weeks, doesn't really matter. But I also know I can trust the operating system that I'm using, <clears throat> which is uh, Linux. And, uh, uh, you know, it's all about trust. Do you trust your OS? Do you trust it to not only function and to be able to deliver uh, the applications you want, but then also does it stay out of your way? And is it just functioning to a point where you can just leave it on and you're not going to have crashes and all sorts of things like that? Some people say that Windows has taken care of a lot of that. I don't believe that for a minute. And then when they have other things like this... Um, this is a concern. Why big tech continues to want um, 
to get inside our PCs is beyond me. I, uh, this kind of thing is, is sick. <clears throat> so, uh, give Linux a shot. Uh, and for me, the solution is two different versions of it and uh, having an external SSD drive. So I'm happy about that. I think I've ultimately, through this long journey, uh, found what I need uh, to function every day and to make my computing life better. Uh, I'm going to still go through some of these other distributions. Uh, I should review them, uh, you know, because some of them have <clears throat> a certain validity, but... Uh, in other senses, um, I think they're much more uh, vulnerable to um, mismatches with hardware and things like that. I think, for me, Kubuntu and Linux Mint have done a great job in making a desktop for the everyday person. So that's what I think. Anyway, uh, leave a comment if you have any comments about uh, Microsoft's recall and... Uh, how much you trust your operating system in general. Uh, these are the ones I trust, and I know that I'm going to be using them long into the future. It's already been a long time now, and so uh, I don't see any reason to, to go to something else. I, I just believe in the whole concept and uh, the capabilities that it has. Anyway, that's it. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.